Alright, y'all ready to get into some game? Are y'all ready to get into some game? Alright, we're gonna get into some game right now. Let me let me do my list. Y'all get your pins and paper out. Let me put on some Mackie music. I need some real Mackish. Yeah, that's too mellow. You can feel like he about to make love to a bitch. I need some Mackish. Hold on. There you go. I can Mac to this shit right here. There you go. I had to get my Mackin' music together. Alright, anyway, y'all, here's the list, man. The list for today, I want you to grab your pens and grab your paper. It's 10 things that players don't do. And this list can also be called, You Might Be Moist. So it's a list with double titles. 10 things that players don't do, or You Might Be Moist. Okay, y'all ready? Alright, here we go, here we go. Now, number one on the list of the 10 things that players don't do. If you're a grown-ass man, you should not own a cat. All right? Now, the, the only exception to that is if you were dating a girl, she had a cat, and you broke up, and she just left the cat with you, and you didn't want to put that motherfucker in a shelter. That's the only exception. But if you took your big rusty ass to a damn pet store and picked the damn kitty out, you moist. All right, let's go to number two of the 10 things that players don't do. And this is real big in the South. Players do not ever do a dance that requires you to dip or drop it low. That's some shit that players don't do. You don't drop it low. You don't dip. You don't get your eagle on. You don't do none of that shit. All right, let's get to number three. Number three of 10 things that players don't do. Players do not wear anything besides socks to keep their ankles warm. A player don't worry about keeping his ankles warm. No grown ass man should have on leg warmers, leggings, or footies. That is moist. All right, let's get to number four of the 10 things that players don't do. Number four. Players do not get tattoos on the lower part of their backs. Ladies, if you the, the guy called up, his homegirl wanted to know if a dude was gay. If a dude has a tattoo on his lower back, that shit is gay. He should not have that shit. Because who's going to see it? The only time a person is going to see a tattoo on a dude's back, the lower back, is if the dude is naked and bent over. Now let's get to number five of the ten things that players don't do. If you take two or more bubble baths in a week, that's something that players don't do. That's borderline moist. Now one bubble bath, that's understandable. That's kind of pushing it, but that's understandable. You might have worked out, you might have had a long week or whatever, but if a motherfucker just keep posting up in a damn tub in some bubble baths, some Calgon and some aroma beads, that's really borderline. Number six of the 10 things that players don't do. If you own a pair of skinny jeans or Ugg boots, that's moist. Players do not own skinny jeans or Ugg boots. Let's get to number seven of 10 things that players don't do. And this is a very, very important one. It's a tricky one, but it's an important one. Number seven. Players never cry in another man's arms. There's no reason to cry in no other dude's arms. Well, there's one exception. The only time you can cry in another man's arms is if you've been shot. And if you're holding a dude because he's been shot, you hold that nigga until the paramedics get there. And when the paramedics get there, you let go and let God. Don't hold on to no dude while he's crying. And don't cry and let a dude hold on to you. Right, number eight of ten things that players don't do. A player does not go see the movie Twilight more than once. I can understand if you've seen that bullshit one time, but if you've seen Twilight more than once, that is moist. Now let's get to number nine of the ten things that players don't do. 
let me before I do that, let me get this call. The phone lines are lighting up. I'm, I, I hate to stop the flow of the show, but hello, who's calling? Hello? See, I, that's why I hate calling and answering the calls. It stops the flow of the show and everybody's calling up. But anyway, like I said, let me get to number nine. Number nine of the ten things that players don't do. If you know all the songs and all the words to a Brandy or Monica or Keisha Cole song, that shit is moist. Don't no grown ass man need to know the songs to some damn Brandy or Monica. It, you better not be sounding like this. You need to give it up. Had about enough. It's not hard to see, but boy, is mine. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry that you see to become you. This is ridiculous. No grown ass man need to know this. That's ridiculous. <laughs> if you know any of these words, that is moist. <laughs> oh, that's enough of that. Hold on. What's up? Who's calling? Hey, this is Jeff. What's up, Joe? Where you calling from, player? I'm from uh, Florida, Miami, Florida. All right, what's going on with you, man? What's on your mind? Yo, uh, hey, I got this little thing, man. I got these two songs, and uh, I got this other show, She a Monster or whatever. You know, I just keep it tucked out in the back. But then, I ain't fuck you yet, and then today I was chill with her. She told us, oh, you need to eat this pussy before any day happens. Oh, damn. No, no, no. If a female tells you to eat her shit, don't do it. That's a, that's kind of, yeah, yeah I've, I had that happen before. I had a female, she didn't tell me to do it, but she hinted to me. I, we were about to do our thing, and, you know, I had hit it before a few times, and then she kind of come out her mouth talking about, hey, Flex, um, so, um, you don't eat pussy? I'm like, hell, goddamn, no, I don't eat no damn church. I mean, I don't, don't, not if you coming at me like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, but if you... Right. If a female is cool about it and we got a real understanding, then hey, we can get it on. We can get some Algero action. You know what I'm saying? But if she asks you to do it, that ain't cool. That's not the business. So you charge her to the game, ma'am. All right, thanks for the call, player. All right, man. All right, anyway, let me get to my list. Let me finish my list. Let me do the last thing on the list, y'all. Let me do the last one on the list. So. Number 10 of things that players don't do or number 10 of you might be moist. The last one, if you know how to do a split, you might be a little moist. Men don't do no damn splits. Don't no grown ass man need to be doing a goddamn split. Well, there's only one exception. If you're a damn martial arts expert. <laughs> you feel me? No dude should be doing no damn split, man. Only dudes who know how to do splits are ballerinas or cheerleaders. And your ass shouldn't be neither one of them if you're trying to keep it player. What's going on, man? Who's calling, player? Hello? Hello? Yo, what's up, man? Who's calling? Hey, what's up? Uh... It's Jeff from uh, Miami, though. What's going on, Jeff? So, what's the word, man? What's up, man? Hey, how y'all want it looking out there, there, man? It's freezing out here right now, man. It's cold than a motherfucker out here. It's so cold, I saw a Greyhound bus, and the Greyhound was in the bus. I said, God damn, it's cold as hell. It's freezing out I'm here, man. I'm trying to make a trip out there. It's I'm trying to make a trip out there. Uh, what a spot to be at. Um, like Hollywood, Hollywood is still popping, and Beverly Hills, those spots are still popping. So, I got to come out there to Miami. What's the weather like in Miami? What's it looking lovely, man? They got women out here everywhere. Bathing suits. The weather lovely right now. It's about like 92 degrees. Yeah, I like that, man. I love to hear that shit. Anyway, man, thanks for the call, player. Uh, let me get up out of here in a minute, man. These phone lines are up. I might take one or two more calls, but before I bounce, um, don't forget, man, um, the seminar this weekend in Los Angeles at the Complex Theater. That's in Hollywood. Go to MacLessonsRadio.com to get your discount tickets. And again, 
courtesy of um, Hot 92.3, we got um, um, free tickets available, so call up at 818-322-4524. We got four free tickets. Yo, what's up? Who's calling? Yo, this is Corey from D.C. What's up, King Flex? What's You're up? The man. What's going up, big old pimp juice? How you doing, player? I'm doing great, man. I wanted to ask you something just really quick. Go ahead. You know, I never hear you talk about always, you know, kicking a chick to the side when you're done with her. You know, what you think about guys getting back with their exes, man? Um, it really depends on what you guys broke up about. That's a real touchy one because if it was something real fucked up that y'all broke up about, and there's a reason why you broke up and it had to have some kind of severity for y'all to break it off, um, you always yeah. got to take that into consideration because a lot of times when a guy break up and goes back to the girl, he has to compromise. You're compromising something, um, and that's what you don't want to do because if you compromise, you're going to feel weak going back into the situation, and then the female that you got back with is going to feel like it's cool to do ever, whatever she did again, and most likely the reason you broke up with her is going to come back out again. You feel me? That's why I came to you, man. That's why I came to you. Just real talk, man. Thanks for the call, player. I'm going to do a show about that, too, about the rebound. I touch on that in the book, too. You know what's funny? A lot of people are asking me questions that's in the new book. I got a whole section about the, um, the recovery stage in relationships. And let me, let me talk about the elite way, man. The, this book is a beast. This book is not no goddamn joke, man. This book, I'm taking the game to another level. I'm talking about the campaign stage, the maintenance stage, and the recovery stage. And the recovery stage is very important, man. Guys got to know how to break up with a woman and when to break up and when to accept that it's over. That's really important to be thorough in your game. And I've never really talked about that in any of my other books, man. And I really want y'all to feel that. What's up, man? Who's calling? This is Darius. What's up, Darius? Where Chicago. you calling from? Chicago. What's going on out there in Chi-Town, player? Man, there's so much snow out here. You don't even want to go out and see a woman right now. God damn, nigga. The only bitch you want to see is Mrs. Claus. It's snowing out there? It's snowing. Snowstorm, bro. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So what's the word, man? What's on your mind, player? Man, I just wanted to, man, I just want to give you props, man. About two or three years ago when I first bought your book, uh, The Mac Lessons. Yes. I mean, uh, the, uh, the Mac. The, the, the Mac. Right. Yeah. And, uh, man, that book changed my whole perspective on the game altogether, man. Like, a lot of stuff I, I saw myself doing wrong when I when I bought that book. And, and the ironic thing about it, when I bought the book, I was with a female. Yeah. And I had bought, I had bought her a whole different book about, like, celebrity astrology or something. <laughs> but I, took, <laughs> but I, took, I read that book, man. Like, to this day, like, I carry that book in my book bag sometimes. Like, I read it like a psychology book or something man. Like, that book really changed my man life. I appreciate that game. I appreciate that a hell of a lot man man I feel that that's what I like to hear I like to see guys man who soak that game up and utilize that game every day man but anyway thanks for the call player alright take it easy for sure alright yo one more call one more call is cool y'all can do one more call cause they gonna keep me up here all day what's going on who's calling yo what up King Fletcher it's Rodney from Maryland man what's going on Rodney on? how you doing Pimp Juice what's on your mind Oh, I'm doing great. I wanted to ask you something about the new book, The Elite Way, man. You know, yes. it was on Borders and Amazon and all. I couldn't find it on there. Where I can get that yeah. thing to come out? That's going to be, they're going to have the pre-orders, I think, up there by Friday. It, it, it's officially released on the 16th, but the pre-order should be available this Friday. So you guys check on Barnes and Nobles and um, um, Amazon.com, and also check on TheEliteWay.com, and I'll have updates when they're going to have the pre-orders ready. All right. All right, don't be the first nigga with it. That's real talk, man. I appreciate that, dog. Thanks a lot, man. God bless, man. For sure. Bye. But, Bye. But, but yeah, all my L.A. and New York people again, man. See, the, this book is hot. Boy, the Elite Way is a hot one. Don't nobody have it yet. Nobody. I kept that shit under wraps. I didn't want no bootleggers and nobody leaking out pages. None of that shit. I kept that shit under wraps. If the only people who going to get it first are the people in L.A. at the seminar. Anyway, y'all, let me get up out of here. Y'all going to have me up here all damn day. I got to go do some shit. I got to go get some clothes for New York because I heard it's freezing out there. And I ain't about to come out there trying to dress fly and, and, and sexy and freeze my ass off. Anyway, y'all, that's been today's episode of the Mac Lesson. All right, let's go to number two of the 10 things that players don't do. And this is real big in the South. 
players do not ever do a dance that requires you to dip or drop it low. That's some shit that players don't. There you go. I can Mac to this shit right here. There you go. I had to get my Mac and music together. All right. Anyway, y'all, here's the list, man. The list for today. I want you to grab your pens and grab your paper. It's 10 things that players don't do. And this list can also be called You Might Be Moist on a Cat. All right. Now, the, the only exception to that is if you were dating a girl, she had a cat, and you broke up, and she just left the cat with you, and you didn't want to put that motherfucker in a shelter. That's the only exception. But if you took your big rusty ass to a damn pet store and picked the damn kitty out, you moist. All right, y'all ready to get into some game? Are y'all ready to get into some game? All right, we're going to get into some game right now. Let me let me do my list. Y'all get your pens and paper out. Let me put on some Mac music. I need something real Mac-ish. Okay, that's too mellow. You can feel like he about to make love to a bitch. I need something Mac-ish. Hold on. So it's a list with double titles. Ten things that players don't do or you might be moist. Okay, y'all ready? All right, here we go. Here we go. Now, number one on the list of the 10 things that players don't do. If you're a grown-ass man, you should not 